Um, Bio Pussy ninety two has started a fund for your basement, Rich. <laughs> if they want to do another. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hold on, let me see if I can. Oh, oh, I made it worse. Oh no, it's worse on Rich's side now. <laughs> and Spooky Dookie, Rich. What? Play Metal Gear Rising eventually. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll eventually, eventually. Was that the one by um? Look, on my free time, I'm on this whole fucking vanquish kick. Yeah. Yeah. Was uh, is Rising the one that they the Vanquish people did? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we'll play. We're gonna. That's it. Um. Get over here, you stupid mouse. <laughs> stupid mouse. You stupid mouse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so someone has, you know, a, a Google Doc yeah. of uh, of all the games we've played and how long we've played each of the games. Oh, yeah. Um and FTL and and included in that is your super mega dead rising yeah. you know, death run. FTL is like two and a half hours away from beating that. That's fine. In time played. That's fine. People love it. I love it. Oh we love it. People my love it. God. It's fine. That's a long one. What's this one again? I love that. I love that one. Um, what was going on? Spooky Dookie, we, we, we said you. Oz Mike. Guys, replace pre G's with Neil Breen playing Jesus in his movie, I Am Here Now. We call him Breezus, and he lives in our hearts. Accept his love and balls into your hearts. <laughs> These people are crazy. That's my God. I love it. Breezus, may the breeze breathe with you. <laughs> Let's see. You don't have to buy your way into our crew. How many people want a? How many people? No, you you know you don't have to. No, you don't, don't, have to donate don't buy to your way. No. What's this? Wait, what's this one? I don't like that. Oh, gross! I think I think we're going for a stealth B today. Stealth B. What's what is stealth B? Do? Uh, no shields. Uh, cloaking device. And a giant fucking laser nice. that takes forever to charge. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a challenging ship to run. Oh, okay. A normal, because why not? Uh huh. Um. All right. How are we doing, names? Who wants it? Who wants it? What do they need? To, uh, I, you know what? For what? this one, anybody. First one that says wants it. First one that says anybody, wants it. First anybody who says wants it. Wants it. Let's see here. Specifically wants, wants it? it. Okay. Yes. There it is. Real Quaid. Okay. Quaid. That's a you're you're a badass name. Quaid. 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 Like Quaid. Except except in Total Recall, you're that freaky little midget in this guy's stomach. Oh my <laughs> god! Or was that was that Quaid or was that? I thought Quaid was the main guy. I thought Quaid was Schwartz. Quaid was was his alter ego. Who was the who was the midget in the stomach? I don't remember. Quanto? Quintic? Quizzle? What was his name? I don't Molnack? Molmack. But no, that was Melmack. That was Alf's homeworld. It was it was uh <laughs> Schm the, Schm Schm the, the, His name was Midget. All right, who's the first person that said Quato? Because I think that's right. Uh, Quato, Quato, Is that Quato. Uh, hey, Michael? Lucian. Who, it was Lucian? Oh, no, no, you're right. Amishel. Amishel? Amishel. All right. Because Amishel knew Quato's name. Yeah. You get it. It pays, it pays to know things. <laughs> uh, one more. <laughs> one more. The first person to say one more. <laughs> That's very creative, Jack. It's very, very creative. <laughs> uh, 
waffle. Tonight. We're having fun tonight. Waff- waffle tail. Waffle tail says one more. One more. <laughs> waffle tail. Waffle tail. See, I L or or A L E. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, I forget. Oh, I've no. seen Waffle Tail before, but I don't remember how. Oh Your shit! Brain just bl- blurs these things. Oh shit! Oh, I said waffle. Waffle. Waffle is fine. <laughs> We've shortened your name for you. You're welcome. That was really rude. One minute, Jack. I think I'm a jerk. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, Skeletal Snoogles would like to donate to the Church of Breen. <laughs> Praise be to Breen. Also, when will you guys watch his next two films? I think I think I want to wait to watch them on camera. I, I, because I can only imagine we will. <laughs> the Breen Natica? Yeah. Nice. The Breen... Um, like Galactica? Yeah. Breenactica? Yeah. Breen... Or, or the Breen Star. The Breen Star. Oh, that's it. <laughs> We're the Breen Star. We, you know why? We're the Breen Star? Why? Because now we have to beat the game better than anybody else has ever beaten the game. The Breen. <laughs> the Breen Star flies okay, here's, straight, flies true. Here's a rule. If we can afford it. Yeah. And the store has it. Yeah. We have to buy hacking. <laughs> yes I am officially into this run we have to be the best hacker the best hacker the best that hacker has ever hacked <laughs> may the Breen star fly true and straight oh and be the best God. be the best ever of everything Praise be. Praise Breeze. <laughs> praise praise to Breezes. <laughs> Sold. Oh, my Lord. Mm. Gotta hydrate. Gotta hydrate. Uh, praise Breen. Cloaking has already come in handy. Well, of course, it's cloaking. Wait, did you win? Yeah, we we hacked the ship. It was a blue option. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, then there you go. And there you go. We should do an FTL drinking game stream. I don't know how that would work, Gutterpunk. Not very well, because I don't drink. One. <laughs> be rich you would have to drive me home yeah so. yeah yeah i would <laughs> what's the game i don't i don't know what um i don't know what i don't know how the game would work every time yeah, there we go. the ftl drinking game so it needs to be something that happens often enough but not all the time every time a missile misses You take a drink? Oh, no. At higher levels, you'd be dead. That's true. You would be dead. You'd be dead. Oh, uh, one one drink for every OMG? Oh, my God. Then you guys would just be donating 50 cents over and over and over again. <laughs> Ooh, I like that every blue option take a drink. But blue options don't happen quite enough. Uh, no, that's probably about right. You think? Well, Decent amount of blue options, depending upon depending upon what your crew is and what uh, equipment you have. Okay. The reason I take the uh, a lot of time I take the, um, the rebel the the United the, the Federation cruiser mm-hmm. is because it's got a nice mix of crew that gives good blue options. Mm. You get the the NG, the Mantis Man, and the Rock Man. Right. The NG and the Rock Man come up in blue options frequently. Okay. Like how many times a run do you run into the station that's on fire? Sure. Rockman sure. solves Rock that. Man. How many times do you run into the quarantine planet okay. with the disease problem? The NG is the blue option for that. Okay, so every time we run into a blue option, you take a drink. Yeah. Every time a crew member dies. Take two drinks? Take two drinks in memoriam. <laughs> 
no, we're not the rebels in this. That's that's the fun thing about FTL. Yeah. Is you are the Federation fighting the evil rebels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Every time you encounter a solar flare, fuck no. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, they're not as bad. I've come to hate the, um, the ion ones more. Yeah, the ion flares are really bad. Those fucking ion pulses kill you. Right. You're right, Batman voice. That's true, though. If we oh shit, that was oh, not a good hit. Not in the oxygen room. Oh fuck. Uh, oh, if we played the FTL drinking game, we would need the beer emote. Oh, thank you, Waffle Tail. No, I did not change the game in uh, Twitch, and I will do that right now. I will do that right now. FTL. FTL colon oh, faster than my life. God. FTL, it looks like a bird. FTL. Update. And updated. Thank you. Finish your drink. I don't think finish your drink when you beat the game. I, like, Because, you know, we have to make sure we get significantly drunk. That's the point of every drinking game. Yeah. So it, you're drinking every blue option. Two drinks for every death. Finish your drink. Every time you run... Uh, every time you... Uh, the rebels catch up to you. You know, so if you ever, if you're ever in rebel territory, finish, finish your drink, because that that only happens maybe, what, once or twice a game. It depends. No, it does. If I have a really powerful ship, if I think I've got a good layout, yeah. If I've got good engines and I can get away fast, I might take an extra star or two before doubling back to the exit. Just to gain that little bit of extra resources. Sure, sure. Gambling that I will gain more from like those two extra stars mm. than I'll lose. At but the but now exit. you would have to also calculate how drunk I am. And if <laughs> like <laughs> this is why this game would actually work the best because Rich wouldn't care. It's like oh no, Jack's oh, yeah. taking the drinks. Yeah, have all the drinks you want. <laughs> <laughs> so I would I would get you drunk with my not giving a shit. <laughs> this. This idea has potential. This idea has a lot of potential. The the uh, FTL drinking game. Actually, I may be doing something stupid coming down here. Oh, okay. Lord Belmont, um, I would like to send you... Thank you for the tip. Uh, I would like to send you a 15-megabyte no, file of the Hugo trilogy from GOG. It's like King's Quest and Police Quest. How can I send it? Uh, if you have Dropbox, you can send us a Dropbox link. Uh, prereq at redlettermedia.com is our email. Um, or that might just fit in an email. Or if there's any sort of download thing. But uh, Dropbox is probably, like, that's what I use. Or if you use Google Drive, that's also a good way to do it. But the Hugo Trilogy. I don't know what that is. Do you know what the Hugo Trilogy no, is? Never heard of it we don't know what it is. The name of the game, Destroy Jack Packard's Liver. It's It would yeah. You know, that's yeah. that's part of the fun. Also I mean like I would I would choose a, a a lower alcohol beer, you know, I'd get a normal beer. And uh and of course uh I would you know, I would take a taxi home or Rich would drive me home. Yeah. One or the other. <laughs> to make sure that we do it safely. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if you finish a drink twice in a row? Does that mean a whole bottle? Maybe. I don't know. Chuck Norris dies of liver failure jokes. Go! <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Okay. Um... Chuck Norris's liver didn't give out. Chuck Norris was just filtering out the weakness. Eh, no, because then he's dead. Well, listen, I, you know. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. No, no, no. I mean, a human? Oh. <laughs> no, I, I thought you were talking about my Chuck Norris joke. I know. Joke. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's no. It's worse than nothing. Okay. The Chuck Norris joke is bad. Mm, right, uh, right. Do we want the human or do we want to blow this thing up and get the resources? Ah, eh, you know what? We'll take the human. We can name somebody. 
uh, always more crew. Always more. We like. We need more crew members. Uh, Maybe. You don't think? Depends. Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, we don't have shield, so we don't really need another crew member right now. But eh, we got one. Well, he can man like the sensors and whatnot, and he can prepare things. I mean, there's sure. things. There's things. But it's just do. like the humans don't have any special traits. Right. Yeah, they, they level up fast. You, you get really excited when you get like a, a mantis. Yeah. Man. Uh, John Kilo wants to be named. Right. He said. I don't, I don't think I've named John Kilo in a while. He said me. Okay. <laughs> and I said, okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Work your body in time. Work your body rhyme. Okay, I believe you. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sonora. No. Shake it all the time. Work. Shake, 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 work, Sonora. Work is the next one. Work, Whatever. Work, work, I don't give Sonora. a shit. I <laughs> My girl's name is Sonora. I tell your friends I adore her. When she meant it, no manna. Can't afford it. None of, none of those it's were it. words. Yeah, can't afford it. If we, if we blew up that ship and got the resources, yeah. maybe we'd have enough to afford the the energy guy. Ooh. What, the, the Zoltan. Zoltan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a store, but I can't afford hacking if they have hacking, unfortunately. No. We have no money. That's all right. I can sell something. That's all right. Do it. Ooh. Do it. Get on the boat. The banana boat. Maybe if we can get back here in time, we can buy a flak. We have to get money. There's a quest. We need money. There's a quest. What's that, the quest? I don't know, but we need... 32 scrap from this to make to get that flak. There's a flak? There's a flak at that store that we couldn't afford. Yes. There's a flak. Nothing matters except for getting that flak. And this is where our, our, our extra guy comes in handy. Yes. Fight him, guy. Fight him, human. Oh, shit. He shot. I missed the shot. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, pardon me. I it, like it sounds like I'm Disney drunk. I'm just I've just had coffee and water tonight. I drank a little too much last night. I had like two beers. It was nuts. I will not accept your surrender, sir, because nope. you're offering me jack shit. We want your money. Alright, I don't want John Kilo to die. Some some send someone else in there. That's very nice of you. Uh, oh, is that enough? Well, no. Nope. We need 20 more. 20 more. Okay, we can do that. We can get that. Yep, it's just water, just normal, non-alcoholic water, that's for sure. Um, I don't know oh if we... Oh, my God! <laughs> I don't know how many uh, Max Landis stories we want to share tonight. Um, you know what? He's 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 a decent guy. He's he's a really decent guy. I will. T I I mean, much. Oh, well, for, first of all, anonymous uh, says late arrival, so this might be redundant info. But whatever, other streamers tend to have a higher minimum tip amount to prevent most uh, of it going to PayPal. Uh, yes, I know, and we'll, we're we'll work on that. But thank you. It's it's it, we tried to set that up <laughs> for some reason. It didn't take. It didn't take. Yeah. Um. I was very worried about about Max Landis coming, you know, m much like I was worried about Len coming. Where it's just like, are are they just here? Are they, I, I I mean, Len, I was worried about actually physically beating us up. Yeah, I well, I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't worried about him beating us up. You know what I thought might happen with Len? What? Uh, obviously, he wouldn't do this because once we met him, we found out Len's a super ultra <laughs> amazingly cool guy. Yeah. But before we actually met him. After we trashed his fucking movie and career, we were afraid he was going to, like, take the money for the ticket mm -hmm. and have us pay for the hotel room and then just not get on the plane. <laughs> right. We're worried we're right. going to show up at the airport to pick him up and just nothing. Yep. That's what we thought might happen. Or, like, he would he would fly here and then just, like, be silent. But Len, Len you know, after meeting him, super cool, would never do that. Absolutely. Totally professional man. But we didn't know what he was going to be like before we met him. Yeah. So, so, so Max... Came into town um, after a little Twitter back and forth after Jay and Mike's uh, 
American Ultra review. And, and you know, if anyone has ever seen Max Landis on anything, uh, one thing I can confirm is that man talks. All right, somebody in the chat is talking about Max Landis' ego. Here's the thing. What you're interpreting as ego after meeting him is just high energy. The man is, like, really passionate about <laughs> whatever the fuck it is he's talking about. <laughs> he cares about it. It's true. But he was not, like, a dick at all. No, so, incredibly nice. He's, incredibly nice guy. Really he's just, cool. He's just a talker. Yeah. He, you know what? Very, he likes very to, big talker. He just li- he likes to tell stories almost as if telling stories is what he does for a living. Like, he was all excited <laughs> to show us his comic book. Oh, He man. showed us. We got a special... Uh, sneak peek at uh, Superman American uh, Alien issue number two. <laughs> I love <laughs> he was, getting it. He was super excited to have us read it. And we talked about it. We chatted yeah. about comics. We chatted about we, we chatted about all sorts of random nerd stuff. Max was an incredibly nice guy. Yeah. Incredibly, incredibly nice guy. And uh, yeah, he just talked. He's he just a talker. But you know what? Once you Once you figure out how he talks... It's really easy to get in the conversation with him because he'll he'll be the first to tell you like oh if you have something to say just stop me from talking or else I'm gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> so like once you figure out his flow, the conversation was great. The, I, I really liked hanging out with him. His comic book was good. Issue two, like if anyone has read American Alien issue one, uh, issue two is is I, I liked issue two better than issue one. We uh, have we have no hacking. We have no hacking. That's no all right. Hacking. Did you get the flat cannon? I'm totally getting the autom- – no, we no. could afford it. But that's okay. If I got the flat, flat cannon, yeah. I would not have been able to afford the automated reloader, which is going to kick ass as it will make our giant super laser fire mm. faster. Oh, ah, okay. We're doing good. Cool. Who is Max Landis? Max Landis is a screenwriter. He uh, most notably wrote American Ultra and Chronicle. Also the son of John Landis. Famous director. Famous director of, like – Half of all of the good '80s movies: <laughs> Blues Brothers, mm-hmm. Coming uh, to America, Coming to America, Thriller, Michael Jackson's Thriller, Right, Trading Places, um, Animal House, <laughs> like yeah. classic, classic comedy director. Um, so yeah, just a, just a stand-up dude. He wasn't he wasn't here for long, but stand-up dude, fun to hang out with him. Uh, you know, and we did, we did talk about American Ultra. Here's I like, and Rich and I talked about this a little beforehand. I still have not seen either Chronicle or American Ultra. Chronicle, I watched before I came in because I figured I should see some of his stuff. <laughs> I like Chronicle actually a lot. Yeah, it's I've a really heard good movie. I've heard really good things about Chronicle. Um, I have not seen either. Of I his didn't. Movies. I didn't want to see it because like the found footage film. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ, it, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. great. And that's the thing. The only thing I knew Max Landis from is he has two really amazing web videos called the the uh, what is uh, the birth and death of Superman? Return of the death and rebirth of uh, Superman. Something like that, yeah. What is it called? Does someone know what that one's called? Did someone say it? The death of Superman. It's it's this amazing web web video talking about how DC Comics killed off Superman, and uh, he also has a video called "Wrestling Isn't Wrestling" that's in the same style of that. And I knew I know nothing about wrestling, and I don't I, care. About I don't know wrestling. anything about modern wrestling, so yeah. I would it'd be worthless for me to watch that. No, here's the thing: I know nothing about wrestling. It's still a very entertaining video. You know why? <laughs> Max has the ability to talk passionately about wrestling. Um, and like, I don't, the death and re-death of Superman, right? The death and return of Superman is the other video. So the death and return of Superman and wrestling isn't wrestling. I keep wanting to say like the, the, the death of Superman returns because of the documentary. And I know that's not it. That's right. But, uh, they're both fantastic web videos. Um, and that's what I I didn't even know he was a writer until a little bit ago. I think until they did uh, their American Ultra video, I was like, oh, that, Hey, I know that guy. He made YouTube videos. And they're like, no, he's he's like a screenwriter. Blue event. If somebody is doing a drinking game, that was a blue, a event. blue event. Take a drink. Great. But uh, no, he was he was a good guy, and uh, we had some interesting conversations about screenwriters and final movie products in general. 
that were very interesting. Uh, Lord Belmont sent you uh, the Hugo file in Google Drive. Okay, great. Thank you. We'll look into that. What? Um, I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> do I want to take out a shield some, or do I want to take out those weapons? I'm probably I'll, I'll always, I'll always go for the weapons. Always go for the weapons, yep. Can I get... Oh, God, I wouldn't be doing much damage, but can I do both? That's probably... <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'm. Yeah, right. Yeah, why not? So. Uh, because I'm only doing damage to two rooms. Oh, okay. That's why not. Sure. So, here, Ultimazer. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some real talk here about haircuts. Because you know, everyone talks about his haircut. Max Landis's haircut. Look at me right now. Look at my head. If you have hair, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. That is the truth about people with hair. I don't I don't care what you do with your hair. If you got it, make it work. <laughs> if if he's happy with his hair, whatever. His, he does have goofy hair. It's goofy hair. It doesn't matter. He's happy with it. He's so happy that's with fine. it. It's fine. But it's goofy hair. This is re this is a, oh, shit. They a real ones. talk about about people with hair. They can have whatever haircut they want. Why are you in that room and not that room? I fucked up. I put, oh. him in the wrong, I put him in the wrong room is what I did. I'm laying down some truth. That's right. You think it's stupid, it doesn't matter. He's got it. <laughs> I did I did dumb and I deserve oh. What I hit I hit the cloak! Uh, Apparently you did not. Son of a bitch. I'm This is what happens when I do anything other than 100% concentration on the game I'm playing. <laughs> Everything goes to fuck. Right. Well, get get it together. Maybe you could do that. Maybe you could do a little bit of getting it together. So, yeah. in any case, it, nothing matters. He was a nice guy. We nerd talked a lot. Because uh, he's also a nerd. And very passionate about movies and... Son of a bitch! Oh, that hurts. <sighs> that hurts. Hi, lumpy head. <laughs> All right. New, new plan. Uh huh. We're getting the fuck out of here. Fucking asshole. <laughs> well, that's kind of what he's. That's kind of that's kind of his thing, Rich. <sighs> deep breaths. Deep. You can do it. Deep breaths. You can use it. Um How did we meet Max Landis? He came he came out to chat with us. Um because Jay and Mike didn't much care for American Ultra. Uh, too late. Too late. Yep. Rich shouting at the game, drink. <laughs> the official drinking game rules are every time there's a blue event, you drink. Every time a crew member dies, you drink twice. And every time the rebel fleet oh catches up with you, you finish god. your drink. Oh my god. Hearing uh, Calamity Corp says, hearing your angelic singing voices... You guys should do a Sing Star type stream sometimes. I only assume that's like a karaoke type game. Fuck no. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Over my gold dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, would you be happy to have a one on one interview with Phil Spencer? He's the main Xbox ad man. Uh, no, because. He's probably way better at interviews than me and knows how to spin it in his direction and wouldn't answer any of my questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that's his job. There's no point in doing an interview with a marketing guy unless you're going <laughs> to shill for them. Because <laughs> either they're going to refuse to do the interview. Right. Or, or spend the entire interview shilling, and it's like, no. 
And obviously, if they're like you know working for Microsoft, they're probably good at their job. <laughs> you want a live action role play stream? Also, never going to happen. <laughs> Contrary to what some of you might believe, I have never role played a day in my life. It has never happened. Yeah. Uh, always felt silly. I I I, had a, I tried it like once. And yeah. Like, eh, this is not for me. It's not. It's not for me. D and D or. Uh, I I, yes. Or or live action role play. No, ne- never at all. Will never <laughs> happen, ever at all. <laughs> It's not my scene. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Uh, that's right, Phoenix. If the ship dies, you lose four crew, and that equals eight drinks. So get with it, Rich. Ooh, that's and they're ooh. saying I have no imagination. Maybe I have too much imagination to want to put rules on my imagination to limit it. You thought but, about that, motherfucker? But Rich, Peace off Mofo says this, acting equals role playing. I'm not an actor. I've yeah. never claimed to be an actor. I'm just some goofy actor. man whose friends keep throwing him in front of a camera, <laughs> despite the fact that I die on camera every time. <laughs> Rich is a fantastic actor. He refuses to believe it, which maybe that's part of his power. <laughs> You know, and and tired and sad. Oh, we need engines. We we've talked about this about like how Max can come across like pretentious and or entitled. He's just a he's a he's an upbeat guy. Yeah, really. Th- that's really. it. He's just excited about the things he talks about. I mean, you gotta think we're just well. He came up there, so they have to say nice things. No, he was very very nice guy. He talked a lot. He talked a lot. Don't, you know. But then it wasn't like it wasn't it wasn't obnoxious <laughs> though. I mean, he's no. just extremely passionate about the things about, he likes. About everything. Yeah. And that's no. So I I but I can see how he would come across that way. Obviously, like I'm super best friends with him now. <laughs> so I think I can I think I can talk about this. <laughs> Obviously, I spent a day with him. And uh, and I can I can talk about the time I spent in the day, but no, I I I want to say he's a cool dude. All right, we have to save this run, Jack. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Kamaxian says, if I came to Milwaukee for tourism, could you make any recommendations? Don't come to Milwaukee for this tourism. Doesn't... Yeah, um, well, that's one. There's probably, <laughs> you know, is... I love this city, but there's probably better places to go. Uh, if you come, if you if you are a music person, Kamaxian, I'd say come. Rich. Praise be to Breezes. Praise to the Breen. <laughs> a flak cannon has he been has descended upon unto us. us. By the Breen. By the the Breen has gifted a flack. <laughs> uh, if you're a music person, come during the summer and come to Summerfest because Summerfest is great. You get to see a hundred live bands in one day, uh, and you know, drink during the day and uh, be in a mass of people and watch great music. So Summerfest is great. The, there's not, you know, we have a decent museum. We have uh, we have some really great restaurants. But anywhere you go is going to have great restaurants. We will never surrender any one of our crew members to slavers. These scum. Except for Waffle Tail. <laughs> what? Sorry, Waffle Tail. But I think we can take them, so you're okay. <laughs> um. I don't know. Like, I guess if you're like if you're coming here for like work or coming here for some other reason, there's some, other... or else like again during the summer, uh, instead of coming here, go up to like Wisconsin Dells, and then you know you could go like oh, they fuck. have they have shit to do up there. In Milwaukee, no, there's not so much. Not too much. Ooh, stick, stick, stick. 
All right, how do we name this person, Jack? Um, what, what subscriber? We've done a lot of anybody, so let's get a subscriber. Uh, Stick is a is a important character. What what? Here's 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 the trivia question. Okay. What can what can Neil Breen do? That's the question. It's a very simple answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What can he? What what is he the best at? What is Neil Breen the best at? You know the answer, and I see <laughs> there it. There it is. Oh bother! Neil Breen is the best at everything. <laughs> Neil Breen can do everything. <laughs> That's oh the Breenus, <laughs> the breezes. <laughs> we do we, we milwaukee does have cheese curds milwaukee has you know uh we have a we have a couple really fantastic brewery tours if you're a beer person you could you could take like four or five brewery tours without leaving downtown milwaukee and uh a lot of them give you free drinks while you're on the tour and that's great so if you're a beer person, then you come to Milwaukee. But um, ooh, yeah. They do not have hacking. That's okay. Uh, Neil Breen is a filmmaker um, who makes some amazing movies, and Rich and I recently saw one of his amazing movies. It's not our job to teach you culture. <laughs> but it is our job to spread the word. <laughs> of, of breezes. Of breezes. <laughs> Part of being a disciple of our Lord Breen <laughs> is to spread the word of Breen. <laughs> he is a, it's a fil- he's a filmmaker. He makes films, the quality of which is not up for debate. He makes them. He's a filmmaker. <laughs> is there a debate? What, what debate? What debate could there possibly be? There's no debate. He, he's great at everything. He's, he's the most perfect at everything. His Twitter thing back and forth. Uh, oh, no. Max's Twitter thing was, uh, was just he watches Half in the Bag. And uh, he got really excited when they did American Ultra. Yeah. And he was... He was super passionate about something. And (laughs) surprise, surprise, he liked American Ultra (laughs) because he wrote it. (laughs) And disagreed with Jay and Mike. (laughs) Because they didn't much care for it. And wanted to have an in-person conversation with them. (laughs) That's it. Oh, Waffle. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, he's fine. The person in there is dead. They survived. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Jesus. But he can fight this guy. Sweet breezes, Waffle. Gotta be careful with those Ultons. They're weak as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking borders. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> Always, always an adventure with a stealth cruiser. <laughs> it's always an adventure when you're traveling with Breen. On the Breen Star. The Breen Star. On the Breen Star, there's nothing but adventure. <laughs> but we're the best at everything. So we'll Luckily, be okay. we're the best at everything. Why did Jay tweet Neil Breen? Do they need his permission to stream? What? Is Jay tweeting at Neil Breen? Uh, Because Neil Breen's the greatest. (laughs) So maybe he just wanted to tweet at someone who's the greatest. He's the greatest and best at everything that he's ever done. Oh, can you guys not hear the game audio? They're asking for louder game audio. Rich. Uh, right now I don't give a shit. Great. Rich is in the middle of something. And I'm looking up what Jay's tweeting at Neil Breen. 
keep getting fucking borders. Maybe you could deal with it. Well, that's the goal, isn't it? Is dealing with isn't it? That the fucking goal. That's usually the goal. I don't, know. I don't want to click on the door. I want to click on you. You schmuck. You, schm you schmuck. Yeah, my schmuckina. My schmuckina. Yes, my schmuckina. But hey. Well, hey. Oh, oh no no! So Jay's uh, Jay retweeted one of uh, a classic Breen tweet, classic Neil Breen tweet, uh, and his tweet was no, <laughs> because, and this is a th true thing. Go check out Neil Breen's Twitter right now. He does not know how to reply to people, and so he answers people's questions, but without replying to them. He just answers them as tweets. And so you'll see on his Twitter feed, he just says stuff like, maybe in a couple weeks. <laughs> what does that mean, Neil? We don't know. Look, we just don't understand the complexity of his tweet. Because <laughs> he's the best at tweeting. I guarantee you that. He's the best at tweeting. I am not wholly convinced that both Neil Breen and the movies that he makes are not some sort of adult swim art project if we want to think about this in reality his movies are too perfect and he as a, a character as a person is too perfect this could be the next big long con Fuck. what look what that is asteroid oh what don't i have on my have, ship you don't got no shields may the power of green oh. be with you you're gonna need that Fuck! <laughs> so it's it could be possible that Neil Breen's persona and movies are nothing but a long con brought on by uh, like uh, Adult Swim midnight programming. Oh, breeze be with me. May the breeze be with you. We can't do a cross with with breezes. What do we do with breezes? Maybe like a like a like a triangle. Everything. The so, oh, you know what it is? It's a triangle with a circle around it. So triangle, circle. Because that's everything. <sighs> you got this. You've fucking got this, Rich. You took out their engines. That means they're not dodging, which means their shields are going down soon. He no, could. we're fucked. We're yeah. f we're f f so fucked. It's oh, like... your weapons just went down. What about your flax? <sighs> Good call, Jack. Good call. You got the flax. Jack is my co-pilot. <laughs> and the breezes is mine. <laughs> <laughs> we're so fucked. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. Oh God. We're so fucked. Run away. Oh, you can't. You're piloting. Oh. oh. Fuck! Get them drinks ready. How many crew members we got now? We got five. That's ten oh. drinks coming up, people. Fix that shit. Nope. Nope. I hate everything. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. And your flex aren't doing shit. Oh. Rich, I would like to share a story. The Breen tests us. I would like I would like to share a passage from the Breen. Yeah, go ahead. From Breezes. Please share me a passage from the Book of Breeze. From the Book of Breezes. The Book of Breen. As Neil has written, I am a, I was a master jet fighter pilot, and I've won all the medals. And no government could stop me, even if they wanted to, because I control anthrax. Yes, but you're forgetting you're forgetting the the message of uh, tweet one thirty seven. Okay, I'll get back to you next week. And doesn't that just mean that we need to try again? Yes. 
And he will be there. And he will be there because he's always there because he's the best at everything. <laughs> Praise be to Brainus. You, you mentioned when you mentioned that he was might be an elaborate adult swim hoax. Yeah. I yeah. thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it. I honestly thought about it like, oh my God. That makes much more sense than him being legitimate. <laughs> but I chose to not believe that. And at that moment, mm -hmm. I knew what it was like to have religion. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> Because no, the, that's almost, Jack's almost certainly right. Breen is almost certainly a, a fake. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to believe it. Because all... <laughs> He's real. He's real. The simplest ex explanation and, and common logic dictates that he's a fake. You know, this is, it's an art installation. That would make far more sense than he, him being a legitimate crazy person making films, right? Mm -hmm. But you've decided to throw logic aside. Yeah, completely aside. Logic and reasoning is out the window because to, to you hold want, on to the thing I want to believe. You want to believe that Breen is real, and that's the power of Breezes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's here's the question. I think I think we owe these people some more time because the last stream was a little bit short. Sure. So, do we do another round of FTL, or is there something you want to play? Uh I just love my triangle movement. Do you want to you just do Rocket League or what do you want? <laughs> we could do some Rocket League. That would, you know. We're going to do some Rocket League. <laughs> you know why? Because Rocket League is only four on the list. And, and I love Rocket League. I love Rocket League so much. <laughs> and you've already eaten it at FTL so much. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was not a good one. Well, uh, to be fair, I've been choosing ships I don't use as often just for sure. shake it up. Oh, sure.